Hello, this is professional video game expert Tim Rogers. You are watching Kotaku.com. Today we are looking at Okami HD. No, not Okami HD for PlayStation 3 from 2012. This is Okami HD for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One from 2017. Well, that concludes the math portion of the show. As a professional video game expert, I know that there are several sacred game-liker opinions that one must express in public often and loudly, lest a mob of hardcore game-likers materialize from the ether to stomp your skull into powder as you wait in line at the supermarket. Among these opinions, are microtransactions. Give me a break. Gotta get that new Zelda. Chet Set Radio, dude. That music. Okami, dude. That art style. Now we have to talk about the graphics. Look at this f king game. I have paid for these graphics three times in my life. This time, I got it for free. Thanks, Capcom. Though let's face it, I know I would have paid for it again. I don't regret paying for these graphics three times. They call them video games for a pretty good reason. Now's a good time to mention that, uh, oh no, uh, is it possible that I don't oh, like, like this, this game? game? Oh no, maybe I don't. I like the way the wolf runs. It's weird. It feels like the child of a car and a horse. If you played The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and you wished Link stayed a wolf the whole time, you'll love this. If you played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and you wish Link fell off the horse at one point and the horse kept running and now you were controlling the horse without Link, you'll go wild for Okami. Aside from that, I don't know, man. Okami has some of the most viscerally beautiful art direction of any game game I've ever seen, though it forced me to sit through literally 20 minutes of text before it let me even move my character six inches. Not an instant after I move my character for the first time, it starts talking at me again. My assistant makes fun of the main character's name and calls me Furball. Wow, what is this, Banjo-Kazooie? Why are video game characters always so mean to each other? The very first action the game teaches me to do is how to save my game. Not only this, the tutorial munchkin goes into painstaking detail to explain to me that it's a good idea to have multiple save files. That's a weird omen. After I save my game, I continue forward a few feet before the tutorial munchkin calls the camera's attention to some pots. He says I should break them. He explains that I can press the square button to attack and that attacking will break the pots. So not only am I the god of the sun, I'm the god of pottery destruction. If we use Old Man Murray's start to crate review system, and if we consider pots crates, and if we only count the time we've spent actually able to directly control our character, Olkami scores 13.63 seconds. Wow, this is a long description of how to break open a pot. I'm sorry to pick so hard on the first 13.63 playable seconds of a 30-hour game, though first impressions are crucial. I say, if there be monsters, make me fight monsters within the first five minutes, or I'm gonna get nervous that you're trying to sell me something. The heftiest mechanic in Okami is the pen. You use a Japanese calligraphy brush to draw on the screen. You hold a shoulder button and then you waggle an analog stick around to draw lines which then turn into stuff as soon as you let go of the shoulder button. You can use this to cut enemies in half. And you have to. You can draw stars in the sky. And you have to. Controlling a pen to draw lines which then form pictures? If you ask me, this idea is better on paper. <laughs> I get that the ink drawing motif is this game's stylistic backbone. It's cute, though it's not as cute after about 30 minutes. One of the first objects the game asks you to draw is a river. I literally had an actual nightmare in 2007 about having to fill out a job application using this mechanic. I played this game in 2006 for about 10 hours during one weekend. I yelled at my TV a lot. I was in a bad mood for most of 2006. I thought maybe the Wii version would be the one I'd get through. Through, though it turns out I was in a bad mood for 2008 as well. Today, in 2017, I'm literally getting paid to play this game, and I just... The game just talks so much. And before anyone in the comments jumps in and says, Then you should like it. Let me own myself.
Why would I like anything that resembles me? I just want to be a wolf and love being a wolf. I want to bite dudes and kill them. I want to look at beautiful vistas and I want to feel like a lone, sprinting, divine ghost. Old Kami doesn't let me chill out pretty much ever. Every NPC has the attitude of a grandparent threatening your dinner if you don't do their chores. Maybe if I keep playing, I'll love it. Though how do I keep playing? How do I love it? Help me. I've paid for these graphics three times. I love these graphics. This is the absolute best version of these graphics possible. Lots of people love more than the graphics. It's not hard to see why. This game is huge. It's a Zelda-like. Developers don't make a lot of Zelda-likes because those are the hardest video games to make. They are masterpieces of clockwork systems, which must sustain for Leviathan length. I have played a lot of Zeldas. I have beaten a lot of Zeldas. I haven't beaten Okami. I am saying that Okami might not be the best Zelda. As research for this video, I watched IGN.com's video review of the Wii re-release from 2008. Here's how they start that review. If you really like Twilight Princess, or if you really like Zelda games in general, I think you're gonna be really, really pleased with what Okami brings to the table. It is like Twilight Princess, an epic adventure game filled with quests, filled with challenges, filled with combat, and there's just so much to do and see that you're gonna be kept busy for hours and hours and really does Dozens of hours. The game will run you about 30 plus at the very least. Let's break this down. Okami won Game of the Year from IGN in 2006. They lead their review of their Game of the Year by stating that it 1. is like Zelda. 2. is like Zelda. 3. has quests. 4. has challenges. 5. has combat. 6. so much to do. 7. so much to see. 8. keeps you busy. 9. is dozens of hours long. 10. is at least 30 hours long. I'm not hating on IGN by the Way. I love IGN. I'm just putting it out there, man. I'm sorry. I don't want a game to keep me busy. I may be a baby, though video games are not my babysitter. Having said that, Lord, these graphics. Sure, I'll keep playing this game. Maybe I'll get through it this time, because these graphics are finally so good it is physically impossible to ignore them. I gotta see all of these graphics because I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever kotaku.com